What's up y'all? I'm Noah and welcome back to my channel and let's have some fun. So tonight I'm going to be telling you guys about Netflix suggestions while we in quarantine because there's nothing else we could do really. So why not? So let's get into this video. Hear it! So, uh, I uh, wrote stuff down, uh, movies and shows that you guys should watch on Netflix. So, um, yeah, let's let's do this. Let's get ready to rumble. Uh, let's get ready to rumble. So, huh, the first one is Reality High. <clears throat> Reality High is a show. A show, no, I'm sorry. A movie, and it's real typical, and it's about uh, this girl. She likes this guy, and she and he's dating this popular girl, and he realizes that uh, the popular girl is mean and she's hateful, and he breaks up with her, and then he likes the nerd, and then they get together, and then she gets off her head, and then he's like, oh, "Why are you acting like that?" She's like, "Oh my god, I don't know why. Oh my god, oh my god, ah." Should go watch it. <laughs> um. Um, the next one is All American. All American is about football, and that's all I know about All American. So, yeah, sorry to bust your bubble. <laughs> but um, go watch it. It's highly recommended for people, so I say, so I, say um, I guess it's good. So go watch it. Next one is Beyonce Homecoming. Mm. Beyonce Homecoming is about um, her. It's a concert, and it shows uh, her two weekends that she did in Coachella that she headlined. And mind you. She's the first black African-American woman to head like Coachella. That should tell you everything that you need to know, so. Coachella, thank you for allowing me to be the first black woman to headline Coachella. Ain't that about a bitch? Go watch that now. Uh, next one is Tall Girl. Tall Girl is about this girl, she's tall, and people make fun of her, and then like she overcomes it at the end, and basically that's what it's about. So yeah. Next one is um someone great. Now mind you, someone great. I was in my feelings. I ain't gonna lie. That movie is it's good, but I was in my feelings. It's about she breaks up with this girl. This girl she breaks up with her man, or they break up, and she has like a bad breakup, and she just like. I don't know what to do. She goes crazy and she's trying to like get over him and she does at the end and yeah, that's really about it. Uh the next one is Riverdale. You guys know what uh, you guys know what that's you guys what the you guys know what that's about. Um if you guys don't, it's about people in high school. It's like a town that's like not a good town to live in. And yeah, I'm bad at explaining shows, but whatever. Yeah, it's cool. Um the next one is Full House, Full House is a spin-off to Full House, and it's a really good show. I like it. People don't really like Full, Full House, Full House, but I like Full House, so go watch it. Um, Married at First Sight, I think that's the stupidest shit I ever, I'm sorry. Mm, that's bad. Oh. Those little bastards. Oh, that's bad. Oh, I should have said that. I think that's, that show makes no sense. I think it's fake. So it's like, you sing in a room, and... It's a wall between you and the other person. You can't see them until like the end of the show or something like that. Or for like days and nights, you guys be in a room and you guys can't see each other. But I forgot, I, I don't watch the show, but I know like what it's about. And you guys have things in common. You guys like, love each other. You guys like each other. Yeah. And then at the end of this process, you guys get married. It's like you don't see their faces until like at the end. It's like whatever go watch it if you want to watch that stuff whatever um my next one is uh naomi and eli's no kiss list that movie is about this guy he's gay and this girl uh she's straight and they're friends but the straight fan likes the gay friend but sis he's straight so why are you liking him he, he doesn't like you so <laughs> Woo! <laughs> anyway go watch that uh, my next suggestion is uh, 
Falling in Love. Falling in Love is with Christina Milian, and she goes to Australia to build this house. And when she gets to this house, it's wrecked, it's busted. So she had to like, do all this work by herself. Then like, then, like, she meets this guy, and this guy likes her, she likes, and then she likes him, they fall in love, boom. And mind you, she finds this house on the website, or like she wins a prize, and she thinks that she's gonna be like, shunk off a house, something like that. But really, she has to redo this house. It was a scam, so, yeah. My uh, next one is She Gots to Have It. She Gots to Have It is a Spike Lee joint, and it's, it's a really good show, and it's about this lady, she's an artist, and she's trying to like find herself within herself, or find herself with, within people. I don't know, go watch it, I, I don't know. I can't really explain the show, but yeah, that's my suggestion, so go watch it. But what else do I have up here? Uh, my last one is, Napoli Ever After. That movie is hilarious. It's funny. Um, it's black culture. It's about this lady. She can't get her, her um, hair wet. And then she gets her hair wet and like it damages her hair. She goes crazy. She cuts off her hair. She gets weave. She gets wigs. She gets sewings. Is, is, is it the same thing? I don't know. But um, yeah, and it shows like the black culture of uh, hair. And it's really, it's, it's a nice movie. So go watch that. But yeah. That's all my suggestions of Netflix, and I think you guys should watch. I feel like I have more. Am I missing something? No, but go watch that, and you guys go watch those movies and shows. Tell me how you like it. Uh, comment your favorite shows and movies down in the comment section, and yeah, that's all she wrote. So thank you guys for watching, like, comment, subscribe, share, tell your friends, tell your mother, tell your other mother, to tell her friends, to tell their friends to watch me. <laughs> so uh, thank you guys for watching, uh, stay safe, love y'all, and I'll see you again next time. Peace!